Yeah, it be your boy, that boy 305, checking in with y'all, man. It is another beautiful day that Allah has made. But I'm here to talk to y'all today about the gay agenda that's going on in this world, man. But I'm going to break it down nice and neat, smoothly as I can. We talking about two, you know, motherfuckers that popular basketball players. And, uh, you know, Dwight Howard. A video has surfaced from, I, I think, a year ago or two years ago that he was touching on one of the young men crouch. And the young man didn't really do nothing but hold his arm up and, like, let him do it. Guess he's like a bench warmer or non-player or something like that. You know, taking advantage of him in the way, you know what I'm saying? But he's showing the world right on TV that, you know, giving the people... Like, oh, it's cool to do this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, kids that say, damn, the white touched the guy's dick. That's cool. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of these niggas fruitcakes, man. And it's fucked up, dog. If you gay, be real with it. Don't hide it. Come on out. They done made it legal. You know what I'm saying? So if you gay, come on out the closet. Don't try to make, you know what I'm saying? Don't try to keep a secret and be showing your little hints to try to make other kids and other people Ain't the agenda is cool. I mean, it's cool to be gay. That you can be gay. You know what I'm saying? That's your prerogative. You know what I'm saying? But don't try to poison the other kids. You know what I'm saying? The other people in the world to persuade them to be gay. You know what I'm saying? If you want to be gay, be, be be gay, man. But don't hide it. You know, come out the closet, man. It's a lot of them in the soldier boys. A lot of them niggas fruit cakes, man. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and I truly believe, man, you know, nigga like Young Thug, all these niggas putting on dresses and shit, they are promoting a lot of, of this homosexuality. But at least he coming out the closet, bro. You should know that nigga gay, gay uh, Young Thug. Oh, he bisexual one. But see, the White Howard was playing a man part. Like, he ain't, you know what I'm saying? He laughing, but he grabbing the nigga dick on national TV, bro. So now the video is going to surface back up again. You know what I'm saying? Everybody da 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 But this shit been on the well for a minute. Young Buck. That was my boy. Did he make a mistake? I don't know. You know what I'm saying? You know? Because, honestly, you got some of these niggas out here that's really transsexual on their bodies and they really look like women for real. You got, that's why you gotta be extra careful. You gotta look here. You gotta look at them hands, them legs. You know what I'm saying? And you got some bitches that built up like niggas now. Don't get it twisted. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Even you got to grab that pussy. Let me see that pussy, man. Let me feel that pussy. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to keep it real. And one time, my nigga, dog, I was back in the day, I used to be on pills and, you know, ecstasy, chilling, vibing, doing my ones and my two. Me and my niggas one night, never forget, you know, from Miami, nigga, South B, lit with them. Straight up, they lit with them, dog. They look like real bitches, dog. I'm going to keep it 100 with you. You know what I'm saying? You got a lot of niggas be on South B riding late night, picking them up all day off Ocean Drive. Nigga, I'm born and raised here. I know what time it is. That's my that, that's my little hangout. South Beach when I clown and hang. You understand what I'm saying? When I ain't in the hood. I want to get away. And I see niggas picking up them fuck niggas all the time, bro. Even on my side over in Miami. We got a spot called 79th Street. You probably heard about it. If you from Miami. If you a been through Miami, you know, this shit got a gay spot right down here, man. Them niggas going, picking them up late night. Niggas look like me, real niggas. Picking these boys up, man. Low key, though. See what I'm saying? But then a lot of times these niggas act like they don't know what the fuck they is. But, bro, once you get in that bed and you see what that is, you know what it is. You drunk, drunk, or high, whatever, nigga ain't nothing. But back what I was saying about me. One time me and Sam, my dog be vibing. See the thick old Chico bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like, this bitch thick, nigga. I'm to my right, bro. I promise you now. You know what I'm saying? But when I get up on them and I say, what the fuck, bro? You a man? I don't know. ain't no man. But you can hear the voice. But then they got the ass, the titties, everything. I look, I say, bro, don't play with us like that, dog. We would have beat you to death, bro. We telling you to beat you to death, bro. You need to be honest with people out here. You know what I'm saying? Even though we got to know our thing, too. But nigga was fucked up. But I peeped it. So when I seen the throat. But from distance, you'll see, boy, that's a white. Oh, oh, that's a nice little Spanish bitch coming down with them thick legs. You know what I'm saying? Nigga barker's on. Looking good from distance. But when you get in a nigga chest, a nigga see. So that's what I'm saying. There's a lot of shit going on out here, man. Niggas playing games and shit, man. Niggas be knowing what they be doing. 
Don't get it twisted. You got a lot of these niggas out here selling their soul. Punks taking care of these niggas, man. If you're going to be gay, be gay, man, and be happy. Don't be hiding, coming around me like you're a gangster. And then when you leave around me, you're a hoe. You bending over. But back to Dwight Howard, he got a butt tox, a butt tox injury. Butt tox. This is crazy. And guess what the nigga owner said? He said, I didn't see him play yet, but he's a fine man. This is what the wizard owner said. I mean, the Washington, yeah. He said, but he's a fine man. He have a butt tox, a butt tox injury. That nigga been out about three, four months, man. What the fuck kind of injury you got, nigga? You must have been in over, boy. That boy must have had a little bit of you. You gave him a little bit of you. Something. So what I'm saying about the gay agenda, dog. If you want to be gay, be gay. But don't play with other people's intelligence, dog. That's all I'm saying. I ain't got nothing against you. If you want to be gay, be gay. I don't rock that way, but I ain't going to hate on you. That's what you want to do. At the end of the day... Yeah, what the fuck that is? Smell like that. <coughs> Coming out the weed. Fuck. But anyway. You gotta change the weed. I know about two, three, four pulls. But yeah, let me tell you something. Don't let the motherfucker swipe your mind, dog. All them niggas promoting that gay shit though, bro, on the Lolo. Soldier Boy, 50, Puff Daddy, all them niggas hoes, man. Them niggas gay, man. But they won't come out and be real. I'm going to respect you say, boy, I'm Puff Daddy, I'm gay. I'm 50, I'm gay. I'm Fat Joe, I'm gay. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't talking about Fat Joe, because Fat Joe, them boy probably ain't on that. But there's a lot of them on that, and a lot of them ain't on that, bro. You understand what I'm saying? So what we got to do in this world, man... And separate ourselves from shit that we don't want to be a, a, be a part of But at the same time Let people be where they want to be You know what I'm saying Let people be what they want to be You understand what I'm saying But young buck fucked me up And then he went back and arguing with the punk And telling the punk to take it down This shit gonna fuck up my image You know that The punks want that money man the punks want that money. They ain't finna play with you. They want that bread. They gonna use you to the to the bus out. So you stop paying that bread. They finna let the world know. That's why on the video he kept saying, "I'd rather take care." He talking to the pump, telling the pump, "I'd rather take care." You know what I'm saying? Because the simple fact that nigga know he done fucked up. He rather give it out because he know if he hold it, he going to use them and store them. Or he going to end up killing the punk and going to prison for the punk. His image fucked up now. See, a lot of times they can be on drugs and shit and they hitting them boys and, and they know it's a boy. It be too late, but they know it now. They like, come on, man. I think I'm coming out that bitch. I ain't going to get that far. I'm checking shit before we get in now. You touch that pussy. Huh? Oh, no, no, no. no. You got that shit cut in the back. The dick cut back there. Uh-uh. Because -uh. I get in that room with you trying, but I'm going to beat you. I'm going to beat you. Ain't no plan like, oh, we going to get down. Bitch, I'm going to fuck you up. Because you should have told me and gave me a choice to make, give me a chance to make my choice. And my choice would have been N-O. H-E-L-L. N-O. I mean, N-O. I mean, H-E-L-L. N-O. Hell no. You know what I'm saying? Nigga ain't on that shit, dog. Nigga ain't on that shit, man. You want to do what you do, do what you do. And don't try to fuck us over, man. And make us move that way. Nigga ain't rocking like that. It'll be your boy, that boy, 305. Got nothing against nobody. Whatever sex and, you know, and sex vibes they have, or, or preference, sex preference they have, a man or a boy, or two women like two women, two men like two men, or whatever you want to do. That's your prerogative. But me personally, don't try to lead other people who ain't got nothing to do with that shit or don't want to be into that shit, bro. Don't do that. Start taking advantage. Howard was taking advantage of a player, probably a bench rider, probably a practice squad player. He taking advantage of the man. I'm talking about the nigga face like this. 
Like he's squeezing the nigga shit hard, bro. Like, like let them know this me. You want to keep getting that bread. You want to stay on this team. You know what I'm saying? Extortion, though. And the people looking. It was a nigga behind him like, damn, I wish I had my camera phone. What the fuck? He like this. Like, this shit really happening? Yeah, nigga on national TV. Right in your motherfucking face. The good seat y'all paid for right now. That's what y'all looking at. Right now. Fuck the Y'all ain't at the game no more. Y'all at the game. Y'all ain't seen the game. Y'all see this shit right now. It's break time. Then they did the perfect time when it was a timeout. So the world could see, hey, you know what I'm saying? Nigga, Dwight Howard grabbing dick. Other kids gonna look and say, damn, Dwight Howard grabbed dick. I could do it too. Come on, man. Wake up, man. I'm done, man. It'll be your boy, that, that boy 305. Subscribe me. Share my page. Oh, uh, you know what I'm saying? Questions, comments. You know what I'm saying? We gotta tighten up out here, man. We gotta lead our youth, man. We gotta keep it real. I don't give a fuck what a motherfucker do, how they feel, what they, with the, with they sex life. That's they business. I have nothing against gay people. I have nothing against color, different color people, different races. I ain't got nothing. I ain't got again, nothing against nobody. God say don't hate, man. I'm not gonna applaud you. I'm not gonna support you on that shit. But that's your prerogative. You gotta see. You gotta see the Most High. Don't worry about me. You know what I'm saying? Cause I ain't gonna hate on you. I ain't got nothing against you. Long y'all don't fuck with me. I speak to them all the time. Just like they're regular people. They are regular people. I mean, I just speak to them. And they say, what's up? A lot of them speak to me. Long you don't try me and disrespect me, bro. We good. Because I know some niggas giving you the play that look like me. So I can't knock that. But I'm giving that look like, what's up? And yeah, keep walking. I'm not giving that eye too. Like, keep walking, bro. This ain't what you want. I ain't on that. I'm going to paint you. I'm going to paint you, bro, like a picture. Leave me alone, bro. But other than that, I love pussy, man. You know what I'm saying? To each his own, bro. I like pussy. P-U-S-S-Y. Wet pussy. Slide up and down. Like a motherfucker. Like a motherfucker. Uh, like we had wet and wild. Like we had the water ball. That's the shit I want to slide. It's real talk, man. We got to hold it down. It's 12 minutes. Boy, ain't went long like this in a minute, man. But like I say, man, it's a lot of niggas in that industry. A lot of niggas, you know what I'm saying, that represent the ways of the, you know, the world as far as like, you know, rapping and they ain't leaving, living that real image no more, man. They watered down and they turn into boys, man. Big boys, man. A lot of them nigga boys, man. You can see it in their face. You can't hide that boy shit too long, bro. That feminist is going to come out. It's going to come out, man. So like I said, to be your boy, that boy, 305. Enjoy y'all all day. You know what I'm saying? Add me, man. Add me. Holler at the kid, man. This shit was about the White Howard, and I slid Young Buck in it. These niggas are gay, man. They are fucking with boys, man. That's, you know, that's crazy, man. Do what you do, but don't lead the other people to the way that you want to be. Let them make their own decision. If they go, I want to be gay, let them be gay. But don't lead them towards gayness, man. That's crazy. Give people their opportunity to make their choices. I'm out.